<laughs> so I'll get togged up then. You're not going to miss me on a day at night? Definitely not. Well, these aren't going to stay this colourful long, I'll tell you now. <laughs> Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> Bobby Dazzler. Bobby Dazzler. Um, you want me to put my race shoes on, I'd rather not. We did the Nürburgring, like, record in my work boots. Um, and I was looking, my, you, you see, this is, this is, that, look, I've got my JCB socks, but I ain't got matching socks, though. I ain't got matching socks, but look. JCB socks, boys, hey? They need to change the supply, don't <laughs> <laughs> I was in my socks. Not in the snap-on socks, though. Not in the snap-on socks. No. Right, are we ready? So you're keeping those I'd, I'd prefer, if you boys don't mind, are you, are you boys okay with that? Yeah? Okay. The thumbs up. Give us oh, a twirl then. Another cup of tea. Let's have a look at you. Thank you. Bobby Dazzler, eh? Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we're all out for tea, aren't we? We've got my gloves, we've got my helmet. Do you know, I need earplugs. How noisy do you think it is? Standing next to a fast track model. She looks a piece, standing. mate, yeah. Can I, can, I, can I go in? Of course you can. Yeah, in you go. Seat. Yeah, there's no seat in a mat. Oh, there's no seat. Bloody hell, we can see all the... So, so Guy, if oh, in your left, hand, your left hand handset you press, there's a plus button. If I you press that, you'll, you'll rise up a little bit and then you'll be in a more natural position. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. There's no prop, okay. shaft, on, there's no prop shaft on a mat. No, it's, them... a bit, it's a bit empty inside. So do you want to come back out, Guy? Yes, mate. Yes, mate. I feel like I'm going to trip over the bug. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you've just walked through the wall. Uh, Sorry, okay. mate. Bloody hell. Guy, come back. <laughs> yeah. okay, guys, so right. you can you put your head through the side pod, you can look inside. I know, we're having a look, mate. We're having a look. Yeah. I'll tell you what I only watched for the first time the other week. Um, the Matrix. Jesus Christ, it was loud. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, run out of fuel. All right. <laughs> I've got the worst. I thought you was going over. No, that's all right. Was that nowhere near going over? No. Well, it looked like it from where we were stood, didn't it? Yeah. I thought you was going. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. As long as I can go forwards, I can get it back on his wheels. Yeah, right. Yeah. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Just the amount of abuse they'll take. Yeah. Right, come on, let's have a bit. Right, so you put your foot on the brake. I'll start. I'll do it the first time for you. So you're going to start it. Yeah. That's some piece of kid, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Why aren't you dead? Some <laughs> rattle off it. Just you're not sat where I am. The only downside with the monster truck is it only does 56 metres to a gallon. So we're probably going to have to put some more fuel that? in it. You hear that? It does 56 metres to a gallon <laughs> on methanol. So we're probably Lord going to have to put some more fuel in it. How much fuel does it hold? 26 gallons. We can, 26 gallons. If I can do that in three minutes. Do 26 gallons in three minutes. You can't see anything, can you? You can't see much. It's a great job we're on an airfield because you can't see much. Could be running over whatever. You can't see so many blind spots. Like it's all clear panels here, so you've got a bit of an idea. But yeah, you're not seeing much through there, no. other than those two cars and my van. Yeah. Well, I'm running over those two cars, but I don't want to be in my van, really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm going to put some earplugs in. Bloody hell, it's noisy. OK, fire it up. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> what an experience! Out. Great day what, out. A, what a day out! <laughs> what a day out! <laughs> well, we've got to do about 30 acres here, I think we've got to do. Oh, we're knocking on, we're doing 13, nearly 14k an hour. Tractors, aren't they? No. 
They're not fast, are they? But the tractors sort of started, because I'm a failed farmer, really. It really has what to be a farmer. I grew up in a village where it was surrounded with farms. Um, best job in the world. Out in the sticks, plenty of job satisfaction. You can see where you've, you can see where you've been. You know, obviously we've just had a harvest. We've not had a bad harvest. And then you've got all your machinery as well. You know, look at all the you know, it's complicated. Get all these tractors. So I grew up over there. I live just over there now. Yeah, all in and around this airport. Six one seven squadron. We're based here in the war. The bloke that owns the airport is a bit, not, he's not crackers, but he's a bit crackers. He's got the world's first mobile disco down there. Yeah, interesting bloke. I think we're over halfway. Oh, look at that, we've got the se seagulls in the field, so we must be getting rid of a bit of stuff. Those no seagulls are interested now. So anyway, yeah, I had a bit of a change of track because I went from a fence to a John Deere. And I've had a fence for a couple of years and I've had the John Deere for about about three years. This bread and butter is um, the potato job, which probably goes on for about, I don't know, three months. And then I subcontract it out. Farms would tend to, when they get busy times of the year, rather than having a tractor that might sit for six months of the year and then real business gets on the year, they'll just rent a tractor in. So that's where my tractor comes in. Yeah, I love it. I bloody love it. I bloody love it. Oh, is that the cups of tea? Has Jess got back? Oh. Good lad. <laughs>